Before we start this video right here, I want to make a uh, small little announcement. So as you can see on my screen right here, this right here is our store. And if you can see, I have disabled temporarily um, the other products and this one up so far. And uh, you can see this new icon. So basically what's happening is I'm basically just revamping the store and all the UI products will now be imported into Studio and sold as a Studio imported UI. So if you're a developer this is great news for you because once we have those up the plan is to have you know a huge selection of ui and templates you could use so you would just be able to buy them download them uh the free ones open them in studio and it will be completely set up for you so i hope you guys are excited for that and uh yeah with that being said let's get right on into today's video welcome to part six of the series and today i want to explain adjustment layers to you guys um the very basics of it so um in these past six videos i've just been briefly explaining some tools i just want you guys to get used to you know what each tool does before you know we actually take these tools and um, put them together just to make something in the future so this is what we got so far uh actually let me just make this into one layer so if you guys don't know what i just did let me explain to you so i got all of my layers here right let me just take them out again and so if you got a bunch of layers what you could do is you could click on let's say the top layer and you want to hold shift click on the bottom one this will select everything else in between and you want to hit control control g g for goat on your keyboard and this is going to make a group as you can see Next, you want to hit Control J to duplicate and copy this group. All right. So now you can see we got two groups, and on the uh, top one, or you just use anyone. You want you want to hit Control E, and this will flatten the group into one layer, and you can just hide the the group right here. So we got uh, all these as one layer now, and now I'm gonna go over some adjustment layers. So this right here is the adjustments button. This is what you're gonna want to click. And as you can see, we got a ton of options. We got solid color, we got gradient, pattern, brightness, and contrast, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation, color balance, and so forth. So uh, let's just start off with the most simple one. Let's go with a solid color. Right here, let's select a color. I'm gonna go for a blue color. And you might be wondering, well, what could you possibly do with this right here? right so let's change the blend mode you can see screen color dodge overlay and you can kind of get an idea of what you could do with this right this right here is soft light so i really like this right here and here is a cool little technique if you look on the color field layer you can see the blue icon for the color and right here is this white space what this white space is, is this right here is a layer mask. So if you click on the white rectangle, now it is selected. And now if you go to your brush tool, right? And we're just going to pick a brush. Now I'm gonna use the color black and I'm gonna show you, and I'm just going to demonstrate what this does. So if you paint, as you can see, the layer mask is selectively removed from the areas that I paint. Now, if I switch my color back to white, this will now re-enable um, the, the layer, layer mask layer onto um, the canvas. So, so you can use the color black, turn down the opacity, and we can just remove it on some areas to tone it down. As you can see, on Thanos right here, like that and you can see the before and after now let's move on to the next one next we have gradient All right, let's hit gradient and automatically it is set to black to transparent so if you hit this box you could change your uh, gradients obviously obviously you could double click right here this is where you can change the color and the second ticker and also with gradients if you click down here you can add a new gradient points and you could do like like this right here for example 
So you can imagine the creativity um, you can do with that. But to remove one of these tickers, just drag it up, just like that. Um, same thing goes for right here. Boom. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on black to transparent. You can adjust the angle, right? Also the scale. It will do something like this. I kind of like this right here. You could reverse it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hit OK. I'm going to go into soft light mode, and I'm just going to drag i'm just gonna drag the gradient below the color we're gonna head to um you could try out some of these on your own such as pattern but right now for this uh canvas for this uh, little canvas right here this image there's really no point so i'm just gonna go for the most popular ones that we can use right now so let's go for brightness and contrast this one i think is self-explanatory okay increase the brightness and the contrast Accordingly, um, next, let's try the levels. This right here is pretty cool. Let's expand our tab. You see levels. This adjusts uh, the black, the black-white spectrum. Uh, as you can see, that. If you want a hazy look, you can go like that. It's pretty cool. Um, curves. This is also a very intricate adjustment layer. There's a lot more that goes into this. Um, as you can see, all these tools right here, you can, um, change the, you can change the uh, color channels from red, green, and blue. So there's a lot more that goes into the curves, but obviously we're not gonna go into that for now. Uh, let's go for exposure, offsets, and give a correction, turn both of these up. This will give you a cool, cool little cinematic look i guess um next vibrance i like this one a lot increase the vibrance and saturation there we go um you got hue saturation you got color balance black and white you see black and white right here this is actually a really nice look with the scene and the spider-man and iron man on the ground it's very cool i'm just gonna hide it uh, we got gradient map um, We got a ton more right here, but that is the basics on adjustment layers So so if you have a render you could test some of these out uh, Let's do a complete before and after so once again, we can select it all click on top hold shift click on the bottom Control G to make a group and now we can turn this off you can see the before and after that right there is a very very drastic difference i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe follow us on twitter follow me on twitter join the discord and uh yeah with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.